Hey guys, Tony Ray right here at our Beckwoods Homestead. And this is gonna be the next video on the little cabin. It's gonna give you a short update after I did the flooring. And uh, I'll take you down there and uh, kind of give you an overview of what's gonna happen next. And uh, I'll be right back. And that's what this video is gonna be about. So let's get down here, guys. As you can see on the last video, got the, uh, the flooring in. So I've been doing a few little things since that video. Just a little update. Got Patty's sign put up. The porch, sit and relax. Oh yeah. About a five foot porch, which is pretty nice on a little cabin like this. Works out really well. Gives you enough room to put a little rocking chair. One of the next things I'm gonna do, well, let's go in first. Let me give you an update. This is gonna be a short video, guys. Uh, so the shower came and I just kind of dry fitted it in there, as you can see. So that's where that shower is gonna be sitting and the toilet will be somewhere right in there. And then there will be a, a wall right here that, oh, that these uh, little fins will attach to. So this wall will go here that separate the shower from the toilet area. You know, we'll have a little wall and have your toilet paper holder and all that kind of stuff. And then the other wall will come out about right here. And then right in front, about right here where my foot is will be, or I think right here will be the door. It'll be about a 30 inch door, real small. So the shower came, we got that from Lowe's, it's 32. It's 32 by, I think 68, I can't remember, 72, 32 by 72. Fit in there, perfect. That's exactly how we in pictured that to be. So we got that done. Of course, you saw the flooring video, that's all done. The good thing about this shower, I wanna say, some showers require a mortar base and the reason that we got that we didn't want to do a mortar base and that's why we went ahead and laid the floor now we will put a little piece of uh, waterproof vinyl not a pan because it doesn't require that with this type of uh, acrylic uh, shower and the reason that we got it it's reinforced under the bottom with wood and fiberglass and has little feet so it goes right to the floor and all you do is attach it once you get your once you get your uh, stub out and where everything's gonna be, uh, all you do is take screws and then attach it to the wall. Of course, after all the, uh, after all the sheet, I mean the uh, insulation is in and all that. And that's all you do and make sure it's level and then that's it. You attach your, uh, all of your shower attachments, your drain, your faucet and all that kind of stuff. And of course that'll have to be done. And uh, I'm just gonna have my plumber guy come and do that. I don't wanna mess with it. And I'll probably put the toilet in. So just a little short update uh, before the big video comes out when we actually do the wiring, the wall, and actually installing the tub, the shower, and all the water. So the sink, see I marked everything. That's actually where I thought it was gonna come out. So it wasn't too far off, Patty designed that, laid it out. And that right there will be a sink. I think the sink's right, right in this area somewhere, right, right in there. So it's gonna be tight, but it's a small sink. So that's where we are. And uh, we're looking forward to it, every little step. And then one, one thing I gotta do, it's gotta get up here and take out that beam. And those things is where they had bridles hanging. I got to pop those little dowels out on each side. So I'm going to do a few things like that today and just basically one was waiting for Home Depot to get here to get that shower in uh, in place and dry fitted. So now we can really mark where everything is going to go. That's what we were waiting for. So we weren't too far off of our measurements. So uh, that's going to be it guys. 
just a short video update and uh, I'm, uh, one of the things I'm going to do once that's done, the, after all the inside's done, I'm going to put the uh, siding, the skirting on the bottom and uh, go all the way around. It's going to be fence wood, then I'm going to stain it. And I've got all that wood already. And then we'll get our electric and so forth. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching us right here at our Backwoods Homestead. Me and Patty sure appreciate all you guys watching our videos and this is going to be an interesting project to see it develop from uh, the inside out and uh, as we build it out on the inside so thanks for joining us we'll see you on the next video